In this video, we are going to learn the method of proof known as contraposition. Contraposition is a type of indirect proof, so we've just learned about direct proofs. This is an indirect proof that makes use of the fact that we know that if P then Q is equivalent to its contrapositive or the, has the same truth value as its contrapositive, which is if not Q, then not P. So in a direct proof, we assumed that P was true and proved that therefore Q was true. In this contraposition proof, we're going to assume not Q and we're going to prove not P is true. Therefore, by contraposition, proving that if P then Q is also true. So we are going to do this proof together we are going to prove by contraposition, if n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is odd, then n is odd. Remember, when we're using contraposition, we look here and assume that that is not true. So the consequent would be not true. So I'm going to start this proof saying, assume n is not odd or is even, which makes much more sense to say even rather than not odd. So because n is even, n equals 2x for some integer x, because that is what the definition of an even integer is. So now I can say 3n plus 2 is equivalent to 3 times 2x plus 2, which is the same as 6x plus 2. And I really like to write it in this form. And so let's factor out a 2 to get 3x plus 1. Or I could just write that as 2y where y is equal to 3x plus 1. Now, do I really care what y is? No, I care that that's an, int an integer. But what I do care about is that 3n plus 2 is equal to 2y. Therefore, this shows that 3n plus 2 is even since not Q, if not Q, then not P is true, then, hmm, then if P then Q is true, or going back to what we started with, if N is an integer and 3N plus 2 is odd, then n is odd. Whew. Then n is odd. There we go. And now we know we got it done. Now this one should look super familiar to you. I would really like for you to try this one on your own. Notice this is the same question, except we're using even instead of odd. So see if you can use the last example we just went through together to complete this proof using contraposition. So again, if we use contraposition, we start with the assumption that the antecedent is, or the consequent, excuse me, is false. So we're saying, assume n is not even or n is odd. So we can rewrite n as 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So far, so good. Now I can say 3n plus 2 is the same as 3 times 2k plus 1 plus 2. Do a little bit of rearranging or distributing uh, 6k plus 3 plus 2. And remember, I want to keep this format where I have 2 times some value plus 1. So I could write this as, hey, this is 6k plus 5, but that's not really getting me where I want to. 
I want to write this as 2 and then 3k plus, this is 5 total, so I'm going to say plus 2 with that 1 left over. So I still have plus 5 total. Now just as we did before, I can say this is 2r plus 1, where r is 3k plus 2, which just means, hey, r is some integer, I'm taking it times 2 and I'm adding 1. And what does this tell me? Well, this tells me, this shows that 3n plus 2 is odd, because that is the definition of an odd, 2 times some integer plus 1. And again, we have just proven by contraposition uh, that not q, if not q, then not p, and therefore we have shown if n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is even, then n is even. Done. If you found this video helpful, please like and share. Up next, we're looking at the method of proof known as contradiction.